Hello, my friends on the internet. I've got here a mandolin, which I bought for pretty cheap. Like, you can say, okay, I know what a cheap mandolin costs. A new cheap mandolin. The uh, brand name is Rogue. I've never heard of that, but I've never heard of many companies, so what can you say? It works fine. I got the strings replaced. And uh, as you can see, I uh, maybe didn't do the best job that could have been done um, with uh, redoing the strings. But it was one of the first time I ever redid the strings. And I haven't really been touching this guy in, you know, at least months. I thought I would do a tutorial for Between the Bars for Absolute Beginners. So now the mandolin, if you look closely, has eight strings, uh, four sets of double strings. And they go, we'll use our little tuner here. I already tuned it up before the video to spare you the heartache. So I'm going to pluck this string here, which would be the eighth string or the fourth double string. And that should be G. So these two are G. And then if I pluck this one here, which would be the sixth string or the uh, third double string, that would be, let's see if we can do this. Use my little pick. D. So G, D, um, okay, and now this is the fourth string, or the second double string, here, we go, wait, is that E? Yeah, that's E. And then, if you go to the second string, or the first double string, I'm going to refer to them as 1 through 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to 4, okay, so, um, because the way we're doing it now, wait, okay, let's silence the lamps, so this is A, actually. The second one, the second double string is A, and the first double one is E. So G, D, E, A. Um, now remember, I'm teaching this for really beginning people, and it's an Elliot Smith song, by the way, Between the Bars, all rights to whoever. Um, and so, since we're doing this for beginners, I'm going to show you really up close what strings you have to press. Now here, see where my finger is? Do, 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 do. This is the third string, uh, the third double string. So if you press it on the second fret, this is the nut, this is the first fret, second fret, third fret. So, press it on the second fret, just as close to the bar as you can get. And then you press another finger on the one, two, three, four, five. Press one on the fourth double string, or the G string. So, second fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string. And you get a sound that should sound if I do it properly. And now notice here, um, I'm using my index on the second, uh, sorry, on the on the third set of double strings, and my pinky on the mess, my index on the D strings, and my pinky on the G strings. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so let's, you have to press really hard with this because we're using these brass strings and they're maybe a little bit too much for me.
That's about what it should sound like. And just to let you know for reference, this is what it sounds like without. So this is B, this is A minor, I believe. It should be A minor 7, but... So that's what A minor sounds like. That's what an open board sounds like. So now we want to do F, and for F, wait, how do we do it? For F, okay, so forgive me if I get this wrong. Um, for F, we want to go on the second set of double strings, the, uh, what is it, A string or E string, and then the third here, it's simple, show it up close. So we press it down on those two strings. Do, do, do. How do we get it better for the camera? Okay, there we go. So we're pressing down like that. There we go. So absolute beginners included myself. So now if you combine that, the A minor and the F. So you press down for the A minor. I, I'm also used to sitting while doing this, but I'm standing up like a rock star, so... Next, I think... I forget if what this is... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this chord has a name, I don't know what it is. So we're pressing the strings thusly. So we're pressing down on the first fret on the highest string, on the third set of strings, we're pressing down on the third fret, and on the fourth set of strings, we're pressing down on the fifth fret. So just believe me, believe me, <laughs> learn and love and appreciate. Okay, don't break the strings in my eyes. Okay, no, okay. Uh, that would be a good James Bond. I think this is like a G or or maybe this is G. But anyways, so I'm not doing that very well. I should be pressing harder. And then the fi final one, so, so what we have so far is A minor. Got our A, A minor. We're sweating here a bit. Basically, the second and third string, a set of double strings, you press down right down here, 
And my big fat hands, I actually don't have fat hands, I have medium sized hands. But a mandolin is so small, I can't quite figure out what I'm supposed to be doing to make sure that I just kind of like, I allow myself to mute That's E, and this is C by the way. So if, if this is E, this is C. So, uh, oh, I need a cigarette, okay, so, um, Anyways, that's a little bit up between the bars. I'm sorry that it's so inaccurate. Um, it's just the, the top part. I for, okay, how do we do? I'm gonna sit my, my smelly bum down on a chair. Um, so like, here we go. Then we go back to that big long covering three frets. The, the, either the G or the F, whatever this one is. This is the second verse or the second part of the song. You hold it like that. That's the starting point. And then you go back to here and then A, A minor and then the C see this is E E with the two middle strings pressed, and that's C. So, um, there's, um, It just feels good to be using this again since I did spend money on this and I did really love it as much as I could um, when I got it and uh, I'm working on a different guitar right now which is what I'm putting most of my music time into and what's special about this mandolin aside from it being a cute little mandolin um, is it is where I rest my capo because I don't always use my capo with my guitar 
And theoretically, I might be able to use the capo with the mandolin, but whatever. 